And new at noon, the Supreme Court just weighed in on an Indiana abortion case. CBS reporter Natalie Brand looks at the ruling and what it could mean for the wave of abortion bills being passed around the country. The Supreme Court weighed in Tuesday on part of an Indiana abortion law meant to make it harder for women to receive some abortions. The justices let stand a lower court ruling that Indiana cannot ban abortions performed because of fetal disabilities or because of the sex or race of the fetus. However, the court sided with the state law, which says aborted fetuses can no longer be disposed of as medical waste. They have to be cremated or buried. Then Governor Mike Pence signed the bill into law and stood by it even after the initial court decision declared it unlawful. I will continue uh, to stand for the sanctity of life uh, for the unborn, especially uh, for those with disabilities. The Supreme Court will likely see more abortion cases come their way as states across the country pass laws restricting when abortion can be performed. Louisiana could pass a law as soon as today that would ban abortions outright after six weeks. It's a strategy to undermine Roe to make abortion illegal in the entire country. Eight states have passed more restrictive abortion laws this year. Five have already passed so-called heartbeat laws, which ban abortions after six to eight weeks. And Alabama passed a near total ban on all abortions, even in cases of rape or incest. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the Supreme Court.